This is Jajimara coming from the July 4th week beach in my backyard. I wanted to show you something I just made. Man, check that out. You know what that is? It's a citronella candle. I made it using my pocket knife and some denim fabric. And I cut them up into strips and stuck it into the cap of this old beer can. And you fill the can full of citronella. You put the strip of dim and cloth through that, soak it in a citronella. See that little thing up there, that round thing? I had to pull that out of the cap. I pulled that out of the cap so it wouldn't burn. I used denim cloth, used my pocket knife to poke a slot in the top of the cap and then drill a little hole. See that little hole there? That lets the air in. Filled it full of citronella. I don't have any citronella. <laughs> Can't afford that. Anyway, I was gonna use bacon grease or hamburger grease or something like that. Mix it with kerosene, you know? Shake it up real good and then maybe it'll work and burn as good as citronella does. But I don't know, I haven't tried it yet. Don't do this at home. Use citronella that you buy at Home Depot or somewhere. Anyway. So that's my new invention, the candle, the five minute citronella candle. And I put a koozie on it and it's got two extra wicks that come with it. See that? Two extra wicks that come with it. That's one that hasn't been burnt yet. I tested this one, I lit that one on fire, but I couldn't get the hamburger grease to burn. <laughs> I put vanilla flavoring in it too to make it smell good, but it just wouldn't burn. So I guess I gotta mix it with kerosene or something. But don't do that at home because it could turn into a bomb. It would be very bad, so don't try that. It's dangerous. Use citronella, citronella fuel. And uh, anyway, be careful because I haven't tested it yet. I don't even know if it's safe to use with citronella or not. It's a tiki torch. Tiki Candle, getting ready to sit over there. I'm waiting for my margarita to fill up. <laughs> it takes a little bit. My lawn sprinkler is filling up my martini glass. And I'm gonna be sitting on that bad boy lounge chair in just a few minutes and I'm gonna be enjoying the best salty dog I ever tried. Anyway, it's got ginger ale in it. I don't know what you call it. A salty puppy. If you put ginger ale in a salty dog, I don't know. I'll call it a salty puppy. Ginger ale, grapefruit juice, salt, and vodka. Salty puppy. Right? Party! Oh, don't forget to buy one of my... Oh, this feels great. Oh, man. <laughs> this is better than uh, not doing this. <laughs> wow, this feels great. Oh, my God. It's cold water, too, man. It's really cold. And it is so hot out here. Wow, this feels good. I've been working my butt off all day. Ah, oh, it's so great, man. <laughs> I told you it was gonna be really cool. Cheers. It takes a while to fill a drink up, but sooner or later you get one. Cheers! Hi, this is me again. I thought there was one more thing I should tell you about the citronella candle. 
be very careful when you use it. You see that little hole right there? If it's on fire and it falls over, the fuel will come streaming out of that hole and it'll catch on fire and it'll go everywhere. So if you're gonna use a candle like this, make sure you block it in with a whole bunch of stuff to make sure it doesn't fall over and then it'll work just fine. But don't ever put it in a place and light it on fire where it might tip over. If it tips over like this, you're screwed. <laughs> anyway, have a good 4th of July week, you guys. Party! I forgot to show you the details of my martini glass. Check this out. One day, I was walking down the steps over there and I fell off the last one and broke my martini glass right there in the middle. I broke it and I I took a spring and filled it full of silicone caulk and then stuck the end of that end and the end of that end because it broke right in the middle <laughs> right where I was holding it. Oh wait a minute, you can't see that. Check it out. And I made that martini glass workable again. Ain't that cool? The springable martini glass. I'm sure that I'm not the first person that thought of it, but hey, it's fun. Hey, check this out. I just caught this uh, this bug <laughs> this morning. It's amazing. Look at that shit. It's a giant swimmer bug. I guess it swims. See how it swims? Wow, it's huge, man. Look, there's my thumb. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. That ain't fair. Let me show you how big it is. That's my thumb. That's my thumb. See how big it is? I caught that this morning. Giant swimmer bug. Put me out. I'm going to put him in the creek down there. Hey everybody, this is Jajimara. I'm out here. <laughs> I'm out here. I'm out here, outside, getting set to enjoy my July 4th week <laughs> at the beach, anyway, which is really cool. See that right there? This right here. This right here, look. 